I didn't know it would be this fast. Um, Pastor Kathy, we love you. Um, thank you. I did not know which one to start with, but uh, in 1975, March, I was in Standard 2, and Bishop was in Standard 3. And we were in a school called Kimathi Estate Primary School. And our class was, my, my Standard 2 class was this end. And I remember when we were in class, um, I, we saw the head teacher coming, Mrs. Okemo. And we heard some people screaming and we're wondering what is happening. And so we, our class teacher opened the door and we got out. And I saw Alan, allow me to call him Alan. In fact, today I'm calling him nice ways to call him Aran. <laughs> so we, I saw Alan standing out there with Ms. Okemo and they were crying. My sister, my sister. And uh, so just we, to, we got out and we found the whole school, the whole town, people were running. That was a day JM was killed. And you can imagine, he's nine years old, I am eight, but he cannot go home without me. And he did not just do that. He went, he took me, we read through Dr. Livingstone Primary School. We went to Jericho. We lived in Jericho. He took me, put me under the bed. <laughs> that was the safest place. Then he ran to Jericho Lumumba to get my younger brother, Magua, who was in nursery school. We are talking of a nine-year-old boy. He took Magua, brought him, then put us under the bed. So now, my father had already run to, uh, has sent my mother, you go to Kimathi Estate, because Kimathi Estate was safer, and then I go to Jericho Lumumba, which is very dangerous, to, to make sure that our children are fine. But you can imagine, Alan didn't look, you can, can you imagine the, the mess? And he's running to bring his brothers and sisters to make sure that they are safe. I appreciate him and I miss him, and I know he loved us, and he prayed for us. In fact, we shared this conversation on 26th of February. He told me that I've been praying, and I remembered this, that in our little minds, God took care of us. Pastor Kathy, you are an answer to my mother's prayers. My mother used to pray, and she used to say, Arani, the way you've taken care of Bishop, nobody can. We thank God for you, and we love you. And in fact, I know, if, because I know Alan met mom, she must have told him, thank you for taking care of my son. I'm sure that's what she's saying because Pastor Kathy, you have done more than we would have expected. I appreciate you and I love you. You are an answer to my mother's prayers. We, I could not have done that. In as much as I loved him, you loved him. I always used to say, every time I saw you, it's like you met yesterday. Nikam rukom nakatiana every day. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bishop was selfless, so selfless, so selfless. From my young age, he was so selfless. And I truly thank God, and I must have been blessed to have such a brother. Thank you. Thank you. Let's appreciate Esther Wambui. We call her Auntie Wambo. And now we will have uh, Pauline Karanja Kenyanjui, sister-in-law to a bishop. Over the last couple of weeks, she lives in the UK. She has traveled two different times to be by our bishop's bedside. What a wonderful sister-in-law. As she comes forward, please appreciate Pauline Karanja Kenyanjui. Thank you. Praise God, everyone. I'm standing here on behalf of my mom and my siblings. So this is a tribute for Bishop Allen, 
from his in-laws, the David Karanja family. So Bishop Alan, we fondly called Bro Bish, which was short for our brother, the bishop. So in, when we sat in family gatherings, you know, we would say Bro Bish. He joined our family in 1994 when he married our daughter and our dear sister. We embraced him as a son and a brother and he quickly developed a special relationship with each and every one of us. Alan was generous and supportive and was willing to help whenever he could. We were amazed when he and Kathy went into full-time ministry and saw how he embraced the tough times in order to establish Jubilee Christian Church. Our father, the late David Kahodo Karanja, was unfazed and all he said was that they are young and they'll be okay. We are extremely proud of the great success Jubilee Christian Church has become. We observed his strong faith in God, his passion for prayer, his focus in building the kingdom of God. And this, as a family, grew our faith and we learned how to become Christ's disciples. In our family functions, he was our pastor, he was our leader. During family gatherings, his input was practical and full of wisdom. He was well versed with various topics such as business, politics, sports, anything. You could sit down and talk to, to Brobish about anything and we had amazing and vibrant conversations. Never a dull moment in our family gatherings. In 2018, when he first fell ill, as a family, we were devastated. However, during this battle, we saw the fight in him. And actually, this made us stronger. We saw the positivity. He always remained positive, And he always said that God is faithful. This encouraged us and fueled our belief that he would be healed. It is a privilege and an honor to have had him as part of our family. And we are proud of the work he has done for the kingdom of God, and we celebrate him. The Bible says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. His legacy will live on, and we will miss you, Brobish. And as I stand here, I just want to say to Reverend Kathy, I call her Kathy, she's my sister, that we are here behind you 100%. As your siblings, we will stand with you, and we'll be here anytime. Thank you.